C'est un plaisir de vous accueillir ici. Thank you very much for, um, uh, for uh, being uh, here. Thank you for uh, your kind words. Uh, and I'm happy that you have had a productive uh, uh, visit uh, so far. Uh, indeed, uh, the message that was uh, communicated to you that Greece uh, uh, is back uh, is uh, the truth. Uh, it is uh, evident uh, in the overall performance uh, uh, of uh, the macro indicators. But it is also a spirit I think you pick up simply by moving around the country, speaking to, um, to average people, not just uh, uh, ministers, talking to your business partners. And I know many of you um, uh, have been active in, uh, in Greece for many years. And I would like to thank those companies that stuck with Greece during the very difficult uh, second decade of the 21st um, uh, century when we went through our um, uh, own uh, uh, financial uh, nightmare. Uh, French companies remained committed uh, to Greece, uh, and it is something that we very much uh, appreciate. I should also like um, uh, to point out that the relationship between Greece and France is special. It is special at the political level. Uh, as you know, uh, I signed with, uh, with President Macron uh, a strategic partnership agreement last year uh, in Paris, uh, which is particularly uh, important for the geopolitical presence of France in the Eastern Mediterranean. Uh, it is a very personal and close relationship I have with President Macron. He is uh, the most um, the popular foreign leader in Greece. And I would say France is probably the most popular country um, uh, of all uh, in Greece, which is something that I think you do need to take into consideration when you are contemplating um, um, uh, either expanding or establishing uh, a, a more robust uh, presence uh, in Greece. We're now in the midst of uh, profound uh, geopolitical changes, fa facing um, major challenges when it comes to the cost of energy uh, and inflation. Uh, but uh, this crisis, I think, should not cloud the overall uh, achievements uh, of, of the country over the past um, uh, three years. Um, when, when we uh, took over, uh, we had uh, received from the Greek people a very clear mandate for change. Uh, deliver sustainable uh, growth, um, improve the disposable income of Greeks, lower taxes, attract uh, investment, and uh, um, reduce unemployment by creating um, well-paid um, new jobs. Uh, and in spite of all the difficulties, we have delivered uh, on that uh, mandate. By now, I'm sure you are familiar with the uh, overall uh, performance uh, of the uh, economy, but I, I would like to highlight in, in particular the reduction in uh, uh, unemployment, uh, uh, which has been uh, uh, remarkable, uh, and we are now on a downward trend uh, to, to push unemployment into, in, into single-digit um, numbers. This has been driven by an influx uh, of foreign investment uh, in the country, but also by a reactivation of Greek businesses. We always um, um, had uh, to overcome the major challenge of bridging uh, a very profound investment gap. If you looked at investments as a percentage of GDP in Greece, it was uh, very low compared to the EU uh, average. Uh, but this is, um, this is changing. If you look at the number of foreign companies, not just French companies, that are investing uh, in, in Greece, it is indeed um, remarkable how quickly this, this change was, uh, was achieved. And what is also interesting is that uh, foreign companies don't just invest in, in sectors where Greece had a traditional comparative advantage. Um, uh, such as um, uh, tourism and, and, and maybe renewable energy. They're also looking uh, at, uh, at high tech, at logistics, uh, at, uh, uh, at education, uh, at uh, healthcare, sectors which really value the fact that this country has um, a very high quality human capital. So the reason why people invest in Greece today is not just because we have lovely weather and because I think our tourism product um, is, is, is next to none in terms of competitiveness. They don't just invest here because we have ample you know, wind and, uh, and solar power. There are also other countries that have similar advantages. But what they find in Greece is a highly trained, um, um, uh, skilled labor force, young Greeks very eager to work um, hard uh, to make sure that uh, they can build a better future for themselves and their families. Uh, and many of them, as you pointed uh, out, are actually today uh, outside Greece uh, and are eager to return to Greece. So we also have access to a skilled labor pool of you know, 500,000 maybe young Greeks who left during the years of the crisis who are for the first time looking to come back. And sometimes the easiest way for them to come back is to work for a large foreign company. Uh, like 
um, uh, like like yours. Uh, uh, it's it, it makes the transition um, much um, uh, smoother. So overall, uh, we have reasons to be to be happy with the performance uh, of the uh, economy, but we're also very conscious of the difficulties that we have um, uh, ahead of us. Um, we are very concerned uh, with uh, the rising cost of energy. We have just introduced a very uh, aggressive and substantial package to reduce uh, uh, electricity bills in the country and to break the link between the prices of natural gas and electricity, which have really driven uh, household electricity uh, bills uh, um, uh, up to a point which is simply not sustainable. But of course, I'm also looking to, to Europe. Um, um, to coordinate our actions and to understand that this is a European challenge that needs a European response. We did it last year with the RRF uh, and the next generation uh, EU package. I think we need to do it again when it comes to energy. Otherwise, we will uh, give uh, more arguments to the populace uh, in all our societies to, to attack us uh, and uh, to offer you know, their very um, uh, you know, simplistic uh, recipe of, uh, uh, of unsubstantiated solutions to very um, uh, complicated uh, problems. Uh, uh, but uh, at the end of the day, this is about a long-term transformation uh, project for the, uh, for the entire country. Uh, I've always been very clear that I have, a, you know, when, when we think in terms of the reforms that we need to implement, this is a, a project that um, uh, hopefully by 2030 will lead to a completely different uh, Greece. Uh, by that time, we should have, you know, uh, surpassed most of our um, uh, EU um, uh, colleagues and, and really transform uh, the country fundamentally. Uh, uh, transform the way we, we, we do business, the way we interact with the state, the way we use digital technology, embrace the green uh, transition. Uh, and uh, that is what uh, keeps us very excited and I think the team um, uh, very focused and uh, very active. Yes, I think we have a good team um, uh, in um, place and we are all committed to our uh, transformation project and uh, frankly we want you all to be a part uh, of our um, uh, success story. And I do want you to also make the case to the smaller companies. I would be very happy to come and, and join you if my schedule uh, allows it, uh, because uh, the big companies, I think, are aware of what's happening in Greece, but there is a, there is a, um, uh, a, a tier of companies under the, you know, the big multinationals which have the capacity to invest abroad or would look at Greece or the Balkans, because Greece is the entry point for the Balkans, for the Middle East, for, for Northern Africa as a natural base for the expansion of their uh, activities. Uh, so please make that case also to your, um, uh, to your other uh, colleagues and we would be very, very happy uh, to welcome uh, more uh, French companies uh, to Greece. Your ambassador is doing an uh, excellent job and always a, a very big proponent of, uh, of French uh, business interests, as he, as he should be uh, uh, in the country. But, you know, let, I will conclude with what I said uh, at the beginning, that this is a special relationship and there is a, a degree of affinity between uh, Greece uh, and, uh, and France, which creates a very positive uh, atmosphere when it comes to French uh, businesses doing um, um, investing or doing business in Greece. Uh, and of course, uh, you know, uh, some of you have, uh, 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 have appreciated our country so much that they've also learned the language, which we, we don't expect all of you to do that. Uh, uh, but um, it's, 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 it's never too late. Uh, you know, uh, and uh, you know, look at, we are, we're looking at Greece not just as a country where you can spend a, you know, a lovely summer holiday, but as a country where you can um, you know, uh, live uh, year round, uh, you can do business. Um, uh, from and of course, as I said, as as a basis for f further expansion uh, in our entire region.